Okay guys, how's it going? Hope everything where you is all good. So a bunch of people have been asking me what camera settings do I use for the cameras which I use. So I've made videos in the past where I talk about which cameras I use, but I've never actually told you guys like what settings I use, and a few people have been asking me that. So today, in today's video, I want to talk about all the settings that I use and kind of like the reason why. So the cameras that I'm gonna show, I don't like use them all all the time. Like sometimes I'll use just one of these, sometimes I'll just use the other one, but, but anyways. First, the G7X. So this is a, like, it's called the Canon PowerShot G7X. This is probably the one that I use the most basic settings on. So on the top, there is a little like spinny dial thing and the mo and the setting that I always use and seems to work perfectly fine for me is the one is the camera little symbol. So there's like manual and AV and TV, but I tested them and like it doesn't really make that much of a difference because this camera is kind of just made to just like turn on and like just like point and shoot and just like film whatever. And it's not really like designed to like get in the manual settings and like get the perfect shot. Like you can kind of do that, but but I just go with the little can with the little camera symbol. It works just fine for whenever I use this. Next, this is the GoPro Hero 4. I recently upgraded to this go to the GoPro 4. I used to have the GoPro 3. I just got the GoPro 4 Black Edition like a week ago literally, and I'm super stoked with it. So this camera, like I don't know how, but somehow this can shoot in 4K. So this camera, you can shoot in 4K, you can do like 1080 at 120 frames per second. But the setting that I almost always use is 1080 at 60 frames per second. Okay, the reason I'm not shooting in 4K, first of all, 4K, okay, like, it just takes up so much space. And most people, like, they don't even watch the videos at 4K. Like, some people can, but, like, most computers, most devices, like, you, you can't even watch a video at 4K. So for most people, there's no real purpose to being able to watch it at 4K. And also, it takes up an insane amount of space. So like a couple minutes of 4K could be like, will be probably like a couple gigs. And like you will go through hard drives like that, like insanely fast. So that's one of the reasons. And also, okay, so I edit all my videos. I do all my editing and stuff like that on a laptop. So I do not do any of my stuff on a desktop. If you have a desktop, you can probably, you might be able to work with like 4K footage, but on a laptop, like you have to put some serious money into getting a laptop where you can watch like 4K, like and edit and stuff. So like I can't even edit in 4K and it just like doesn't really serve that much of a purpose to me. It's cool that you have that option. So if you want to, you can. And also if I shoot in 100, 120 frames per second, it like my computer isn't fast enough to watch that. So. 1080 at 60 frames per second, sometimes 1080 at 120, but the more, like the higher, the higher, the more amount of pictures it takes per second, the more like space that footage is gonna take up as well as the higher quality. The one thing that is cool about shooting in 4K is that like if you take a video of something and you wanna be able to zoom in to just like a spot without losing a ton of quality, you can zoom in and still have a video at 1080. So that's kind of cool. Next is the Canon 70D. This camera is like super duper awesome. So I'll tell you guys the, uh, the settings that I use for the video and also the settings that I use for the audio to get good audio. So video, I usually just shoot in AV or TV. You can shoot in manual. The thing about manual is like, unless you have time or you're like, like you have time to get the perfect shot. If you're just like filming this and filming that and like pointing at yourself and stuff, like, like you don't have time to go in manually and like pick the aperture and shutter speed and all that nonsense. Like sometimes like for most people, it, like it's, it's unrealistic. Like if you're out vlogging, you don't wanna be like, oh my gosh, something's happening. One second, let me get the man, let me go into manual and like let me get the perfect settings, okay? Manual, oh wait, let me turn my ISO up a little bit. Wait, let, let me turn the aperture down. Wait, I'm almost there. Like you just don't have time for that. And I figured out that AV and TV, like they seem to look exactly the same. So like in AV, that basically you can sh you can choose your aperture, but the shutter speed is like automatic. And then in TV, you can choose your shutter speed, but the aperture is automatic. So I, I either use TV or AV. It works perfectly fine for me. All my f videos come out just the way I want them to. And in the settings, I just go into the menu settings and then go to the second little recording symbol and then in the movie record size I usually am just at 1920 resolution and then 30 frames per second at IPB I, like you can choose L A L L I which I like it's a lower compression but I'm not really sure exactly what's the point of the difference but I just go in the IPB and it works perfectly fine for me and then some people sometimes wonder how I get good audio so like if you want to get really good audio, 
you're gonna have to have an external mic. So like this, you cannot attach an external mic. Like th there's no such thing as attaching an external mic. So you, it's it's gonna be impossible to get like super good audio on like a little point and shooter. But the mic that I have always used, but the mic that I use is the Rode. I'm pretty sure this is the Rode Pro. Rode, in my opinion, makes really good microphones. And and whenever I am shooting video with a DSLR, I will always put a microphone on. And if it's really windy, I'll put this little wind guard, but, but that's not the point of this video. So th this is what it'll look like if I wanna get audio. If I don't care about audio, you, there's no point in a good microphone. But because I usually wanna have good audio, and also if it's really windy out, I wanna have good audio, it's like this. So this mic, you actually have to put a battery into it. Some microphones, it doesn't use a battery, but with a battery, the audio is gonna end up sounding better. So on this mic, you have a few options. The first little dial, there is minus 10 decibels, zero, and then 20 plus, 20, de 20 plus decibels. I always have it on 20 plus decibels, and that is just what always works for me. The only reason you would turn it all the way down is like if you're shooting like a concert and you don't, and you like want the audio to be down because it's like super duper loud. But I just put this little piece of duct tape right over top of that because I never wanted to change. And then there's just an on button. This one has a little slide dial to turn it on. There's like, the, there's like two on modes. I tested both of them, they both sound exactly the same. So I'm not really sure the, per the difference, but I always just slide it all the way to the end. So obviously different microphones are gonna work differently. differently. And then in the settings, I just go to menu, I just go to menu, the second recording symbol, and then I just, from the top, I go down, one, two, three, into sound recording, and usually, it's on auto, just like that. But what I do is I turn it off of auto, put it on manual, go click on the movie on the rec level, and then I go all the way down to zero, and then I go up four or five notches, like one, two, three, four, five. Five seems to work pretty good. At first I was shooting with the audio recording thing in auto, and the audio, it like when you have it in auto, it picks up everything. So like you will hear like birds that are literally like a mile away. Whereas when you turn it to that, it's gonna focus in on you and not like pick up every single thing. So those are the settings which I use for the 70D. And real quickly, so I always am really shooting video, but once in a blue moon, I will take a few pictures. And whenever I do do pictures, I just go into the AV setting. AV means you can choose your aperture, but your shutter speed is automatic. The thing, like a lot of photographers, they're like, oh, you don't shoot with my auto, you gotta shoot in manual. But like, like if you're out shooting, like you don't have time to go into the manual settings and like choose like the shutter speed and the aperture and the ISO and da 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 like you don't have time. So I always usually have the aperture as low as it can go because I usually want whatever I'm shooting to be in focus and whatever's behind it to be out of focus. And with the ISO, I usually have the ISO at about 800 or 1000, even in the daytime. So, okay, people are like, if there's plenty of light out, your, sh your ISO should be at 100. Like you wanna have your ISO as low as you can, that's what everyone says. But the thing about having your ISO really low is your sensor in your camera isn't as sensitive to light. So the lower you have it, the less sensitive. So in really dark times, you have, like when it's really dark out, you have to turn your ISO way up so that you can actually see something. But when I'm shooting in the daytime, I usually have my ISO up. Okay, so if you don't know anything about cameras, it probably sounds like I'm talking some other language, but if you know a little bit about cameras, then you know exactly what I'm talking about. I usually have the ISO around 800 or 1000. The reason for that is I want my shutter speed to be able to be up higher so that I don't have motion blur. So like if I'm shooting something and I have the ISO like 100, then, and the shutter speed's on automatic, then it's gonna put the shutter speed like super slow. So the shutter speed is basically how quickly your camera takes the picture. But like I'm trying to, like I'm kind of getting into detail here. But yeah, usually it's just like lowest aperture possible and auto shutter speed and then like 800 or 1000 ISO. And that's how I take pictures when I do. It's not very often, but that's when I when I am taking pictures. I will put it on manual for pictures if like it's like something specific. Like I want like the river to be blurred, but I want everything else to be like nice and sharp. Then I will fiddle with the shutter speed. But anyways, I usually don't take pictures. It's usually just video. And next is the drone. So this is the Autel X-Star Premium. Very soon I will do a review on this drone. I'm still testing it out and figuring out some things. I just got this like about, like around one week ago, so I'm still getting used to it. But the settings that I use for this are usually 1080. 
so that's like the resolution and then either 30 or 60 frames usually 60 so this drone can actually shoot in 4k but my computer isn't fast enough so maybe in the future i will shoot in 4k but right now it's just like i can't do it like my computer isn't fast enough so i have to shoot in 1080 at usually 60 frames per second so if i want to do some slow mos then i can't very soon I will do a review on this drone. I can't wait to do that review, but I still got to test a few more things out so that I understand it a little bit better. So that look out for that coming soon. But if you enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up and I'll see you guys tomorrow. But wait, I have a positive quote. This positive quote is, to balance a bicycle, you have to keep moving. So this quote means to me is like, Sometimes you gotta just like move on from the past and stuff that happened in the past because you can't change it and you gotta look forward and continue on with your life and looking to the future. So basically like don't dwell on the past but I'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. So tomorrow we'll be back to normal vlogs but today I just wanted to show you guys the settings that I use because a few people have been wondering that so I hope this helped you out. I'll see you guys tomorrow early in the morning. Remember to do more awesome stuff and psh, bang!